So in this example, we have a two-step equation to solve, and it's 3x minus 7 equals 14. So once again, I want to take care of this, um, this x. I want to isolate it, get it on its own side. So let's just look at the things that are happening in x. It's being multiplied by 3. So I want to undo that. So I know I'm going to have to divide by 3 at some point. I also know at some point, since it's minus, it's being subtracted by 7, I know at some point I'm going to have to add 7 to both sides. It's got two things that are happening to it. That's why we call it a two-step equation. So these are going to be my two steps. Now all we have to do is figure out which one we want to do first. Now what we're doing is we're undoing the order of operations. So you know how it goes, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, then addition and subtraction. Well, if we're undoing it, what we want to start with is that addition subtraction. So I see this minus 7. That's the one I'm actually going to start out with. So draw this down here so I can make sure I have, um, I'm doing this on both sides of the equal sign. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add 7 to both sides. because I'm going to start taking care of it. Right? And this is going to cancel out, leaving me with just 3x on that side. And 14 plus 7 is 21. So I took care of that first step. I added 7 to both sides. Now I'm going to work on that second step. I knew, I knew all along I was going to have to divide by 3 at some point because it's 3 times x, and we're doing the opposites. It's 3x equals 21, so what I need to do is I need to divide both sides by 3. Now, you can write like this, like you're dividing 3 on both sides like that, or you could divide by 3 on both sides like that. It's really whatever your, your preference is. Um, I think more people choose to do it this way. So I divide both sides by 3. The reason we do that is poof, that's gone. And we're left with x equals 7. And that's going to be our final answer, x equals 7. Same thing. Um, if I wanted to check this answer out, all I'd have to do is plug it back in the original equation. The original equation was 3x minus 7 equals 14. If, if indeed x is 7, this should totally make sense. I just plug in that 7. 3 times 7 is 21. 21 minus 7 is 14. Does 14 equal 14? Thumbs up.